I'm really, really going to be sad if we mine into some lava and I lose this pick. So I'm going to keep my finger on the Q key just in case I have to throw it and uh, QQ. So let's hope, let's hope for the best. This is really awesome. I think after I get this obsidian and build the fortress, I don't think I'm going to go, or sorry, the uh, portal, I don't think I'm necessarily going to go straight to the nether. I think I might want to start working on that minecart system, just because I think that'll be a really cool project to do. And it may even take one part of a video, so I don't know. I think it'll be fun. Another general rule for myself, just so I can use the diamond pick for things that actually matter, I'm only going to use it when I need to mine obsidian, things like that, because this is the only way to gather it, so I don't want to, you know what I mean, end up ruining that, and uh, so I'm just going to keep the diamond pick as like a special kind of thing for myself. Whenever I go anywhere else, I'm going to bring iron pick, zombie, eat a dick, eat a dick, zombie, eat a dick, there we go. Ruining my commentary, walking in here like, duh, brains, hey, you think you can just fuck up my commentary anytime you want, don't you? Alright, let's get that. Four more to go. Sorry about this taking a while. It In total, it'll take just about two minutes to get all this stuff, so I'm sorry about that, but I don't really have a choice. Okay. In the meantime, you can be like me and drink some of that apple juice. That's what real men drink, apple juice, trust me. Especially from a carton. Oh, yeah. That's how the men drink it. Alrighty, so two more to go, and then we can head back up to the surface, get that nice little portal going. I don't even know where I'm going to fit it. It definitely won't fit in that house. The portal itself will be bigger than that little, like, dirt hut I've made. So, as pathetic as that sounds, it's actually true. So, I guess we can just work with what we got, then. Come on, come on. There we go. Twelve pieces. So, now let's head back up to surface. Ah, there we go. All that bone meal as well is awesome, because we can just kind of make as much bread as we want. In total, we had, I think we brought up 14 bones, so that means we can get 14 pieces of bread, which is really cool. So we're, it's going to be a while before we starve to death again. If not even, I mean, we might be able to make a fully functioning wheat farm that's big enough and just works well enough that we can actually, you know, not have to worry about ever dying again, really, for that matter. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. That, that would be a cool goal to get but might not necessarily happen. All right, so we got a little flint and steel going on there. Now, I guess we can just, yeah, let's just build it on the side of our house right there. So let's go, and one, two, three, I think, right? One, two, three. Hmm. This thing doesn't seem right. You know what, I think I remember a trick. I don't think it needs to be exactly square shaped, so let me just let me test that real quick. I'm pretty sure it can be like this. So even though I'm missing the two obsidian, I think it's okay. Let's see. It is okay. Perfect. So we got ourselves a functioning nether portal now. We are all hopefully happy. I know I'm happy at least. And, uh, let's drop this all in here. Dump that in the chest. And yeah, we are good to go. Now, I can't remember exactly how to do this, but I'm going to try and build myself my own little railway. So let's hope for the best. Let's get uh, some of that redstone in there, the gold ore we have. Uh, okay, we have we have way enough of that. We're going to probably need the rest of that gold ore. So let's switch over the chests. Is there anything else we need? I don't know, the logs will be good for the sticks. Yes, Coco, you are part of the commentary. Congratulations. Okay, so we are back. Let's get all this going here. We can have 18 there. There we go. So we got ourselves all the sticks we probably need. Now, how do we build this thing? Was it... Correct me if I'm wrong. I think... That is how you do it. Perfect. And that gives you 16 rails for that? Wow, that's that's pretty dang good. Now, how do you do the gold, though? Was it just all... I, I don't remember exactly. I hope it wasn't this expensive. But I think it was something like that, right? Oh, shit, I did it. Wow, okay. So... That's very costly in terms of gold, because gold is not a very popular item, so... Regardless, though, that's a lot of rails. Let's see, now we can probably get... Drop some of that in there. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, that'll definitely be a large enough rails to bring us to that other island over there. So let's put all of our construction tools back. We don't want to lose them in the event something bad happens. Let's put that back in there, and let's get our cobblestone out. There we go. Now let's, you know what, might even need that. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to need that. This is going to be quite the construction to make it across to that other island there, but I think it'll definitely be well worth it, and uh, it'll be a pretty fun experience. We can either do that, or we can build it underwater. Uh, not 
that? Oh, geez, my dog's pretty pissed off about something. Probably barking at someone walking through the lawn or something. Let's just close that off. Okay, now let's get going. Do I want to do it above or below, though? Uh, okay, we're doing it above ground. And then we can, uh, we can encase it later on. Do I really want to... Uh, I, I, I'm not at liberty right now. I don't have enough cobblestone to waste two lanes of it. So we're just going to build one lane of it for now. And then as time goes on, we might build the second lane. So here we go. We're going to have to encase it eventually, though, because mobs will start to spawn on it. And uh, that is going to become a big pain. You know, I just realized we forgot to build detector rails. And I have no clue how to build those. Either that, or I have to have redstone activated. So I need redstone torches. Which shouldn't be a big deal. I'll go ahead and make some redstone torches back at home, and uh, then I'll get this thing rolling. I completely forgot about doing that, so that was dumb on my end, but uh, regardless, we should be able to get this going. Well, let's see. I hope we're close, are we? Yeah, we're, we're going to make it with the cobblestone we have, just barely, though. Look how clear that water is with this Optifine mod on. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. There we go. Let's... Throw that down there. Come on, Bigums. Keep placing that cobble. What is that? Well, oh, it's a squid. I got creeped out. It looked like a skeleton swimming through the water. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? They have scuba suits on now? Like, GG, I lose. They're going to attack my island. That's the one good thing about my island, is it's so small that no mobs spawn on it. And, like, bad mobs, that is. It'd be nice if good mobs did, but I'm pretty sure you need a very large area for that to happen. And I think you need a proper biome as well, if I've heard correctly. Which kind of sucks. Like, I hear they won't spawn in an ocean biome, regardless of how big your island is. I don't know if that's true. I hope it's not. But that's just what I've heard. So, I, I hope it's just a rumor. But you never know. And there we go. We're almost actually there. Oh man, if we, I think we might fall short a couple of cobblestone, which would be sadly disappointing. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure why I'm even doing this. I guess so I can grab some uh, dirt whenever I want and just float on back. Either that or maybe I can make this into like a fortress island, because that would be pretty cool if I could do that. Or actually even, if I flatten it out, I can make it my home island over there. And then I can just use the minecart system to get over to my uh, my management island, I'll call it one. It's got my farms. Or that actually might work best if I even built a house over on this island. Because uh, I think that that way it'll be less cluttered with all the uh, materials and stuff I have going on over there. I think this might function pretty well, actually, to be honest with you guys. So, I don't know. I'm still going to debating it whether or not that's what I want to do. But let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to fall short. We're going to fall just short. So here we go. Keep building. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this video up pretty soon. Just because I have to head out soon. And I've done about an hour of recording in this recording session. So I think we're all good to go. I'm just going to quickly place down some of these uh, tracks. And hopefully it will bring us somewhere special. So let's go. How many apart can they be? Anyone know? Raise your hand, please. No one knows? Perfect. How apart, How far apart can these rail tracks be so that they can uh, function? Do, 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 do. I want to say... One, two, three, four, five... You know what? One second. I'm just going to go check this up so I know. Okay, guys, so the magic number is eight of them. So if that one, the one in front of that was good, so we go one, two, three, four, five... Let me go six, seven, eight, and we drop down a redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we drop down a redstone. So it's as simple as that. Three, seven, eight, there we go. So as long as we keep doing that all the way back, we should be good to go. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know. I'm pretty excited about this. Just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we drop this down. I don't know. I'm pretty excited about building this minecart track. I don't want to bore you guys, though, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do all this on camera. And it looks like actually I was wrong about uh, I completely under-exaggerated the length of this minecart area. So I think that's pretty dumb on my part. Regardless, though, I think we will be able to uh, finish up a good amount of it today. And, uh, yeah, so that's, we got all that done so far. We can make it across probably in the next part, but I'm just going to head back home over here, and, uh, I think I'm just going to call it quits. So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this recording session of, uh, my Minecraft, I guess, uh, Let's Play, Islandcraft. And if you guys did, be sure to subscribe. I do content like this all the time, and I'd love to have you guys aboard. And, uh, as always, leave it a like if you liked it, and thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a good night, everyone.